Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cine Cool, and this is Gems of War. Hey, I'm going to be going over your weekly preview for the week of December 18th, 2023. Earthshaker's new ultra-rare troop, Earth Giant. Get this troop with glory from the rewards tab of the shop. Spirit of Giving. Play the new holiday event and earn currency for the holiday store. Unlock a new legendary troop, a new pet, and even some new armor. Is it new armor? I don't know. I haven't looked yet. But uh, we, I do have a team for this, and I'll suggest some other teams for you for the holiday event. I do have a video on the invasion event. If you haven't checked it out yet, it's only like five minutes long. It has a fast team. It has a late team. It has a low-level team, high-level team. Let's go. Go run that up for me, please. There it is. Invasion. Help your guild defeat enemy towers this week. Build a team from a troop-type giant and evade every day. Week of Stormheim. All Stormheim troops gain 10% to skills. Week of Giants, all Giants gain 10% of their skills. And bonus Trait Stones, use the Earth Giant and PvP to get a bonus Trait Stone. By the way, the uh, Epic Trials is a repeat, but I will have it on the end of this video for anybody that needs it. Um, and the PvP, a lot of them are the same. There's only a couple that are different, so I'll put that on this video too. Because there's only like two of them that you need. They're gonna, it saves your teams from last time, and there's only like purple and blue. And the rest of them are like Divine, uh, Suncrest, Strix unrestricted orc etc like there's some a lot of the same ones there's only like two different ones so i don't think i need to make a whole different video on the pvp i'll make i'm just gonna put it in here probably for this week i think it's gonna be like that going forward though a lot of the same ones with just a couple of them changing each week so probably won't need a whole video on it um but yeah let's go to that uh soul forge and see what's up what's in there i hear iron hawk is like should be coming soon so make sure you're saving those diamonds. You really want like 8,000 diamonds for that. But um, if you have 4,000, secure one. If you have 12,000, that's, that's you know, hopefully. But who knows? I don't even know what's in here yet. I haven't looked. All right. What do we got? The Wild King. That's a good one. Sycorax. Another good one. Um... Did I miss something here? Hold on. Your rally? That's pretty good. Undyne. So, I can tell you for sure, Undyne is the worst. Um, the Wild King is the best thing in here this week. A top 10 mythic. Not a top 5 now, not in my opinion, but probably a top 10. It is pretty good. Um, 22, blue, green, yellow, pans, veil, wild folk, enrage all allies and give them 43 attack. Then create a mix of 22 skulls and yellow gems. Summon a bone storm at the start of battle. So it's like the Wild Queen, but it's um, the Earth's Fury to Wild Queen's Mang. But really good, really good. Definitely a top 10. Uh, if you don't have it, you might want to craft it, as long as you're not missing Iron Hawk or High King Iron Gut. Because those two are the, probably the only two that are more important than something like this. Not literally, but pretty close to, yeah. Alright, Sycorax is number 2. I think it's a top 20. Um, 25 blue, green, brown, black hawk, elemental mystic. Double a chosen color gem on the board, then create three more gems of that color. Give life to all allies of that color. Impervious. It's cool when you have it on the top of your team and you have like an all blue, an all brown, or an all green team. Like a Guild Wars team, for example. Psycho Mega Missy. That kind of business. One of my favorite troops in the game. Then your rally would be third, 22 blue, green, yellow, Mista Scales, Divine Naga, deal true damage to all enemies, boosted by Naga and Undead Allies, summon a Bone Naga, but the main thing it's used for is that Poison Gaze, poison all enemies on 4 or 5 gym match, put it with Scorpius, put it with the Bane of Mercy, and uh, yeah, you get some lethal kills. Good, really, really good all around team you can use everywhere for a lot of stuff, until you get other things. Last and least is Undyne. 20 blue, green, red, Merlantis, Divine, Merfolk. Deal damage to an enemy and the next enemy below. Boosted by Merfolk and Submerged Allies. Summon submerged blue allies and science blue enemies. It's good for Guild Wars Defend, and that's about it. So it's like a book, but not as good. All right, legendaries. We got Shagra. I've been liking uh, Shagra. It, it got a little boost. It got a little, uh, yeah, a little boost, so... Queen Mab, no longer that good. Sylvan Amara, you know, okay. And Lust, uh, another defensive troop. So what order would we put those in? I'm going to say Shagra is the best one here. 14 red, brown, broken spire, elemental dragon. Create seven red gems, then convert all red gems to skulls. Burn a random enemy in matching red gems and deal double skull damage versus burning enemies. 
So really cool. I use it for my red Guild Wars team. And um, yeah, it got a buff. And, um, you know, it doesn't even need alignment to do its thing. You should have close to alignment to do its thing. But creates red and then converts all red gems to skulls. So if you have near alignment, you can just cast it. Because it'll put red on the board and then change them to skulls. Then it has the double skull damage versus burning. And it burns. So... My favorite legendary, but probably not a top 10, and you probably shouldn't craft it in the Soul Forge. But if you get it other ways, it's pretty neat. Um, Silva Namora is probably second. 17 green, brown, uh, forest of thorns, dragon, explode a column, deal damage to all enemies. Entangle the first enemy in 4 or 5 gym match. 25% chance to summon a dragonet on death. Solid legendary. Not a top 10, though, and not better than Shagra. Um, Queen Mab or Lust? You know, I'm gonna go Lust. 15 blue, a purple, Cinema Mirage, Daemon Mystic. Charm an enemy, 40% chance to transform them into a succubus or incubus. Charm a random enemy when an ally dies. Explode a purple gem at the start of battle. Not good or anything, but people use them on their defend teams, so at least it's useful. And speaking of not useful, we got Queen Mab. She used to be so awesome, but, you know, if you, if you took a four-year break and came back, you might still think Queen Mab is good. 15 blue, purple, glacial peaks, fey, mana burn all enemies. If there are 13 or more blue gems, gain an extra turn. Freeze a random enemy on 4 or 5 gem matches. There's just other ways to do everything that she does and do it better these days. Alright, so yeah, the story of the Soul Forge is... I would say the Wild King, number 1. Sycorax, number 2. And then, um, maybe your rally number 3, then, then Shagra. Weapons, are there anything here? Is there anything here? The Normace you get in the invasion event, so don't get it here. These three are for the um, the new dragons, the new giant eggs, Dragonite. Ruby Macaco is a pay weapon, and we haven't got any of those weapons yet, so I can't make it yet. These are Diamantina weapons. Onyx Blade, deal damage to an enemy, then convert eight yellow gems to Uber Doom Skulls. Might be the only other way in the game to make Uber Doom Skulls, so notable. Zephyros's Bolt, Crown of Horns, Explode Blue Gems, Grant a Random Status Effect to all Giant Allies, then Summon a Giant Troop, Curse Breaker Weapons, Ginormous Cleaver, Damage, Boosted by Stormheim Allies, Create a Mix of Blue and Yellow Gems for each Stormheim Ally, Doomed Plunger, Axe of the Storm, Doomed Silly String, um, Deal... Okay, nothing there. And yeah, so if you were going to craft one, which I would not recommend, probably be the Crown of Horns or the Onyx Blade. So Soul Forge, um, Wild King. You shouldn't craft anything if you don't have the Wild King. If you don't have Ironhawk and, and High King Iron Gut, then just keep saving. But if you do have those... You have three Iron Hawks, you got two Iron Hawks, you got one High King Iron Gut. You're looking for another top 10 mythic. Wild King would be a good one. So there's a lot of people out there that might be crafting that today. All right, that's the Soul Forge. Uh, what else do we got going on here? Um, let's do Invasion real fast. Towers, defeat towers to earn rewards. Giant is the restriction. Use this troop type in battles. The event captain, Jordran, has times two magic and earns times two score in this event only. You want to uh, go quick in the early ones with like an AoE, and then you want to use the, uh, well, you always want to use the captain, but you want to go quick early, AoE, and then as you get to like three towers, four towers, you want to switch into more of a um, captain team. Multiples of the captain. I bought up to tier four, which is one after the weapon, to make sure I could get multiple Georgians. I used uh, blue orbs on Georgian, and then I got tier four and got multiple georgians um you should have plenty of orbs we just had a vault event we have one every single month so yeah do your share let's get them shiny keys y'all let's get them shiny keys it's costing more gems to do everything in the game there's so many things that cost gems and this is one of those things you gotta buy up a little bit higher in the shop these days to do your share to get those shiny keys how do you get gems the vault event not pvp I keep... I'm sorry. I was trying to help. Um, let's go to the shop. And we got the Earth Giant. 
the earth giant who i haven't have i got it yet i think i did i don't know whatever it is 12 green brown stormheim elemental giant stun an enemy and deal heavy splash damage to them reduce damage from skulls by 50 percent I don't think we're ever going to use this thing. It's just another troop from Stormheim that comes in with Arcane Forest Trade Stones. Green and brown. So let's go check that out and see what we can fully trade. Green and brown Trade Stones. What can we fully trade here? Green. Brown. All colors. Base rarity. Show all. Um. King Bloodwood? Bloody Bows. Tina has a bunch of good traits. Spell Block, Electrified Plating, Unstable Core. Scourge of Honor has Rat Swarm. Bashtagon has the Curse of Madness. Yasmin has Entangle, a random enemy in matching green. Now we're into the Legendaries. The Ghost Queen, 50% start for Undead. You know who is a good Undead? Uh, the Grey King. You know who got just got better because of PvP and, and color restrictions? The Grey King. Anytime you can use that Grey King, you're probably going to win if you use it in PvP. Silver Amara has the Dragon Vines. Hmm. Hmm. This uh, stone is not great. There's nothing. There's not a lot. Not a lot here. At least I'm not thinking of them if, if they are here. Ogress. Ogress is cool. Summon a fortress gate when I die. 50% stone skin. Bounty hunter. Radagar actually has a 75% start. And it hits like all enemies. Or almost. It's not bad. That's about it, though. That's a pretty lackluster stone there. All right, event key drop table is Stormheim. So let's go check that out. See what y'all can get with your event keys this week. Should ya? Should ya? What am I doing? Stormheim. How many vault keys did you get? Put it in the comments. Always interested in that and knowing how many. Did I do good? Did you do good? Let's see. Mistralis is good. So today, this week, you could get two top 10 mythics. If you get the Wild King and the Soul Forge and Mistralis from Event Keys, you could get two top 10 mythics in one week. Um, she's really good. 25 blue, yellow, brown, Stormheim, Elemental Fade. Deal splash damage to one to four random enemies, then jumble the board and gain an extra turn. Enchant all allies on four or five gem matches. So her main thing is the extra turn and the enchant all allies in four or five gem match. But she does damage with an extra turn. So like I said earlier, the Psycho Mega Missy, you could get Psycho and Missy right now. And um, if you're doing blue or brown over and over and over and just looping with Sycorax on top, you're going to get up Mistralis 2, cast her for free, and then Sycorax, 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 Mistralis for free. Sycorax, 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 Mistralis for free. All the while, if you have the uh, Megavore, you could be triggering instant kills on 4 or 5 gym match. So, pretty fun team. Not the fastest thing ever, but pretty safe and fun. Instant kills, free damage, looping. It's fun. Onyx Giant, if you don't have it, I don't really like it. It, it backfires a lot. And scatter damage. It's kind of like an, uh, a spell damage troop mixed with a skull troop. That's usually... You want to either go all in... Usually want to go all in on something, not have two different things. So, not my favorite. It's not a top 10. Stralis is borderline top 10. Onyx Giant isn't even a borderline top 20. Handle is okay, but kind of getting up there and should retire. Um, same with Yarl. Balder is pretty good if you triple up on it with like Osha's Tome, maybe, for example. All blue troops, bunch of skulls on the board, pretty fun. And then, yeah, that's about it. So, Balder, 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 and Mistralis. Not a great one. Not great. There's like at least four or five other kingdoms that are way better to save up for. Um, Wild, um, Wild Plant, or what is it called? Uh, Pan's Veil is one of them, I always forget to say. We got Adana, we got Zhejin, we got Zalkari, we got Pan's Veil. There's so many that are better, so 
You should definitely keep saving your event keys, unless you're just in love with Mr. Alice, who is a top 10 mythic. So there are people out there that will throw event keys this week. It's super top heavy, so good luck. All right, what else is going on this week? We got the Spirit of Giving. I will go over a team for that in a moment. But today you're going to be doing, I guess, you know, you're going to do your XP booster, your adventure board, your dungeon. Your, is your campaign going on anymore? I don't think it's... I think we're supposed to get Midnight this week, but it got pushed back. So I think we're going to have a nice couple weeks with no campaign. I love it, because campaign is just... Who cares, you know? Um, so, holiday event going on. It's a color restriction. Three different battles. I'll, I'll talk about it in a moment. Today, you're doing probably, like I said, Adventure Board, Dungeon, XP Booster, uh, Invasion. Maybe if you didn't do the Epic Trials, maybe you're getting started on the Underspire... I'll show you some teams for Underspire tomorrow with the faction event. I put, like to put those two together. Um, and, yeah. Your holiday event. Invasion. Uh, PvP. Thought I was forgetting something. Maybe get started on your PvP. This is a way better week to do PvP than last week. There's no Vault event this week. So, PvP, is it's a good time. If You, you could have waited a couple days, is all I'm saying, to do it this week. Um... All right, so Tuesday, what do we got? Frostfire Keep. I think we got that twice this week. Wednesday, pet is Zephyrosis Cloud. Thursday, class is Titan. Titan is really good. If you don't have it to 100, that'd be a good time to get it at least further on. And then Friday, I think we have Frostfire Keep again. We're getting a new troop and a deep delve and all that. Which is, that's the second time that's ever happened in the history of Gems of War. Where you have the Tuesday faction event and then you have the same one on the weekend. Second time ever, and they both have been recently in the last, like, two or three months. Pretty crazy. It works out like that. But I think that's it. Uh, we're not getting Midnight until 2024. No campaign going on. So that is what's going on. Alright, speaking of the campaign, it's over, and that's great. So we don't have an another one. Um, the next one will begin in 20 days. That's so nice. Three whole weeks of no campaign. It's like my favorite thing. Uh, adventure board. A little bit of gems there. Um, what's the XP booster? Gotta do a delve. No big deal. I do those. I got. I try to do one a day anyway to keep my progress going. Um, but yeah, what else do I need to show on here? I guess nothing else. I think that's about it. Oh, the holiday event. Holiday event. And the PvP teams. All right. So we got blue. So you could just br bring over your blue Guild Wars team or your blue Tower of Doom team or whenever you have a blue restriction, whatever your blue team is. I usually pick the highest level. And the team I thought up was Wand of Stars, Comethalus, Diamantina, and Asensia. So finally using Asensia because I'm using two big bad dragons with a lot of mana cost. And of course the Wand of Stars is always good. So... Uh, double blue, yellow, minus green. I'm using Geomancer just because it's a 50% start. If you want to use Dragon Guard uh, to level it up, right now would be a good time. The um, Asensia is just going to make a Yellow Storm no matter what class you use. So any class you're leveling that has a 50% start or Dragon Guard would be good. But So you don't have to use Geomancer is what I'm saying. All right, the start of battle, you're looking for multiple matches to get that wand up if possible. We got red and green right here. Bang, it's up already. Now it should get everything else else up on the team. There's a lot of yellow and... I might do this. Nice. Alright, and there we go. We're off to the races. Bang, we win. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm sure some people don't have Diamantina or the new dragon here. So let's make another team for the low-level players. We'll make something easy. Blue Restriction is also in the... Uh, pvp so you could use that team i just showed you for pvp too i think i forgot to show the team code but it was wand of stars Comethalus, diamantina and um essentia and 50 percent start class doesn't really matter the class uh nisha metals if you don't have Comethalus, you could use two diamantinas or you could use the other blue dragon from the uh gym dragons Saphirax. all right so if i was just a low level player trying to get this get this done i would probably Go with probably Sura Lewin or Gob Truffle or like Queen Beatrix or something like that. Sura Lewin or Shagaroth. I love Shagaroth. Shagaroth is good. Queen Beatrix, King Gob Truffle, Sura Lewin. You have a lot of good choices. 
Sir Lewin will make sure you get it all the way done. So we'll just go with him. Probably triple up on it. Look for a weapon. Um, wh where is he from? You know, he's from Silverglade. Or you can look up a knight weapon, I guess. But we'll look up Silverglade, see if there's a Silverglade weapon. I forget his weapon. What is going on here? Oh, I have to use a blue weapon? That sucks. Um, uh, so Osha's Tome is probably fine. If we're going to have to use a blue weapon, I don't know that we're going to get... Or even a Boreal Crystal, since, uh... You get a green... Ah, you don't really want a green storm of Sura Lewin, though. I think Osha's Tome would be better. You want a blue storm. That way your, uh, loop keeps going. Boreal Crystal would not be the good choice. It's a good second option, though, if you don't have Osha's Tome. Um... Class? We gotta make ourselves knight, or else it won't work. And then banner, we wanna go, like, blue... And, I don't know, I'm going to go yellow. Help that Osha's Tome get up. Blue, yellow, minus brown, that's fine. And here's a team for low-level players. I'm not just going to leave you hanging with the Diamantina team. Let's pick the highest level. No reason not to. I don't think it really matters that much. If you want to pick the lowest level. I don't think it's that big of a deal. But there's no reason not to pick the highest level. You end up getting a little bit more out of it. This is pretty safe, too, because the Sir Lewin has a summon on it if it dies. So, yeah, that's what I'd recommend for low-level players. That, or, like, Forest Troll, Gob Triple, Gob Triple, Doomed Glaive, or, uh, Osha's Tome, Shagaroth, Shagaroth, uh, the Mirage Queen, or something like that. And here, you want to... If you don't have the Winter Armor yet, you want to get it first... Because who knows if it's ever going to come back around. I guess it does, though. So that's up to you. Um, the pet should be next. Because it's going to be hard to get after this. And you need to get all the copies. So it turns to golden. And then you need to get one copy of the golden. And then you go after the legendary. A lot of people make the mistake of getting the legendary first. I think they just want to show off. Even though no one really cares. Um, so, I don't know. I get this last... I don't need the winter armor, so I'm going to go pet, 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 pet till I get all the pets, and then I'm going to do the legendary after that. I did try to... When we had the witch's armor twice, I bought it just to see what would happen, and you get nothing. You just waste, so don't do that. If you already have the winter armor, you're not going to get something. You're not going to make the game glitch out or anything. So if you have it, just don't buy it. So that's the uh, holiday event. It's the blue team. Uh, PvP. This is the week where if you should, if you if you're gonna go all out on PvP, this is a good time. Midnight not out yet, no vault event. This would be the time. So PvP goals, you want to do this every week. Get this. This is the least you should do. Just like in the Underspire, where you you want to use all your free torches and at least get to the second boss. Well, in PvP, you want to at least get to 20 here, get your uh, 6,500 VP. Get all this stuff. Get your gold booster, soul booster, which work everywhere, by the way. Um, and get your gold marks and silver marks. Then you would go and go to the shop. And you're looking to try to get these books here eventually. Your VP did not reset, by the way. I have 7,581 and I haven't done any PvP battles. I still have my marks from last week because I was playing Vault Event like a good boy. Uh, but eventually I'm going to try to get these books. So once I get to 20,000 VP... Uh, hopefully by then I'll have enough gold marks to get three books, maybe. After that, Dragonite, if you don't have the, all the Cosmic Dragons. Imperial Deeds are okay. Shiny Keys are decent. Pets are the only thing you can buy with your Silver Marks. So once I get 750 Silver Marks, I'll be buying one of these pets. Uh, You know, whatever one I think. Elemental is a good one. But it only applies in Garyon, remember that. That's why these pets aren't great. You're just getting them to have them. They'll, they'll help very slightly. Ooh, look at that guy. He looks cool. They all look kind of cool, though. I understand. They're pets. That's how the devs get you, though. All right, anyway, so we have all the same teams. So Divine, you know, I went with the, uh, right here. Wand of Stars, Arc Proxy, Avenger, Divine Ishbala, Keelan. Stormheim. 
Balder, Crown of Horns, Balder, Balder, Titan class. Yellow, same team as Divine. And it's not here for some reason, because they moved yellow, I guess. That's stupid. I'm just going to have to copy-paste it from Divine, but it's the same team. Giant. Osha's Tome, Balder, Balder, Balder. You actually want to use um, Titan class on this one. And you want to use Plague Lord on the other one. Sorry. So Plague Lord on Stormheim, because you don't have all blue. And then Titan on Giant, since you do have all blue. Uh, Orc. Essence of Evil, Eye of Argus, Trichnala, Fist of Zorn, Archer Class, Double Red, Green, Minus Blue, I think. Suncrest, same all, same all, right? Egress, Egress, Staff of Storms, Ecoddle. Strix, same all, same all, right? Egress, Nimbus Bow, Finesse, Ecoddle. Um, the only new ones we have, as far as Central Spire goes... Essence of Evil is Woolgoth, King of the Ravens, Leprechaun, Elementalist, uh, Double Purple Red. So I think that's all of them, except for Blue and Purple. Blue, I just showed you two teams for that. You could use the Diamantina team with the Kamathalus, with the Wand of Stars and Essencia and all that. You could use Suraluan, you could use uh, King Gobtruffle, you could use Double Shoggoroth with the Mirage Queen and the Osha's Tome. You could, yeah, your Blue Guild Wars team, Queen Beatrix. There's lots of good stuff for blue. And then purple. Purple. Oh. Same as my unrestricted. Same as this, except for put, um, I think it's a boreal crystal. Or like wand of stars or something. Right there. So yeah, that's that's all the teams. That wasn't that wasn't hard. The blue is the same as the holiday event. The purple is the same as my, cent as my Central Spire. So I didn't even have to make a new team. And then everything else is the same as last week. So there's like no reason to make a whole video on PvP because all the teams are the same or something you're using in another event. So, yeah. Just, uh, like I said, find ones that you like. Like, I love Divine. I'm definitely picking that. Follow the orange mark. I have a video on this that's a better, like, PvP guide, Battlegrounds guide with 10 teams um, and a lot of them are going to be the same, so you can still watch it and get teams off of it. So if you want to go, if you want to know more information about this, go check out that video. I put it out on Friday. And yeah, I think that's it, right? There's nothing else to do. Holiday event, PvP, we did that. Alright, here's the epic trials for Stormheim. Now remember, we already had this one, so if you did all of them last time, you should have a fully ascended pet and not need to do this at all. But if you only got one pet last time, if you didn't do it last time, I'm here to help you. Um, I don't need to do this at all, but I'm doing it all over again just to help. And um, don't for don't accidentally buy pets if you already got them. But if you don't, here you go. Pride of my own self-sabotage because this is just going to make the video longer. But the more people I can help, the better. And that's what I always say. Um, so yeah, I got the Sapphire Giant, Valkyrie, Skymir the Lofty, and Hindla. I think the only move I made was to move Skymir up one, but I don't know if it, like, saves my old team or not, or if it, what. So, Sapphire Giant, Valkyrie, Skymir, Hindla is the order I recommend. I'm using Nisha's this time, um, because <clears throat> we're doing Sapphire Giant's doing damage. Uh, deals damage to an enemy that converts five red gems to blue giant gems. Um, Valkyrie will transform a selected mana color to blue. Skymere will cleanse and barrier an ally and give them 102 life, move them to the front of the team. So this is really good to cast on the Giant, and it's a lot of life. It can really make up for some Skull damage or something. Hendela is the most important part of your team. It's doing splash damage, and it summons a Giant. So if you lose your Sapphire Giant, who has that 50% uh, stone skin there, you can summon something else in and just not lose. Same with Skymere. If you can cast it on the Giant, you know, two different ways to keep that first slot there. Valkyrie, you're going to make a bunch of blue. Um, Sapphire Giant, you're going to cast it when you have, like, red next to blue. And then Hendela, you're going to cast on, like, second slot. You're going to move down as you kill things. So second slot, then third slot, then fourth slot. But you never want to be just hitting, like, first slot because you'll not do as much damage. So let's show this battle. The self-saboteur, any cool. Alright, so first thing I'm looking for is probably Valkyrie, because she can get up two different... She can get up both of our damage dealers. So yellow um, and red. There we go. 
And now I'm looking for alignment. I want to get an extra turn. Whatever color I turn, I want to make sure I get an extra turn. So we got yellow here. But keep looking just to make sure there's not a better color. Like brown down here is okay. Um, hmm. Red we have. Red we don't want to do because we want to change red into blue giant gems with our giant. So I guess yellow is the best way to go because I want to turn green. That will, uh, I can't turn green anyway. So yeah, yellow. Make sure you get an extra turn when you do that. Keep it on your turn. Don't be giving them a bunch of blue. Um, I like Hendla and Last Slot because it's my summoner, and that's just as far down as it Nobody can hit the Last Slot. I checked. It's all random, so the enemies will be hitting random troops. So I thought Last Slot was the best. All right, we have a bunch of red next to blue. Perfect time to cast this. And I cast this on First Slot. I want to get First Slot out of here. We're hitting First Slot with Splash Damage too. All right, always want to take Skulls, but make sure you don't have uh, extra turns first, like with that. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch, any more extra turns before I take these skulls? No. All right, so we got this red next to blue, so I'm gonna cast the giant on first slot. You see how that that hit? Kinda. We are frozen. We could cleanse them with the sky mirror, but um, I usually don't go out of my way to cleanse. But I will go out of my way to give him life and barrier when he gets low. Uh, we got the Hendla, so cast it on two. Don't cast it on one. If you cast it on one, you're going to be only doing damage to one and two. If you cast it on two, you're doing damage to one, two, and three. So do two. All right, we got the Sapphire Giant, but no good red next to blue. So instead, I might take the Skulls. All right, yellow extra turn down here. Um, blue next to red up here. First slot again. This is the hardest battle, by the way. I had no trouble with any of the other battles with this strategy. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch, any extra turns? I don't know if this is the exact same strategy I used last time. That'll be fun to if I ever feel like looking at it. Probably, though. Um, not enough red next to blue, so I might just take this. Giant gems are great, especially when you can turn a color with Valkyrie. Make sure you try to hit as many of these big, giant blue gems as you can. I'm going to take that. Um, red next to blue, don't really have it, so I'm going to cast the Hendla, as long as there's no extra turns. On two. It's pretty slow, but it gets there, and you just, you're probably not going to lose, since you have a summon, since you got Sky Mirror. Be good, good time to cast Sky Mirror, pretty soon, because my giant's getting low. So maybe I will take this purple, as long as it doesn't give them skulls, which it does. So they're suggesting I take a, a move that will give the enemy skulls. They love to do that to you, so be careful there. Um, instead, I must, I'll take yellow. And that still gave us Sky Mirror. That is great. I might go ahead and cast it because he's getting low there. Um, yeah, let's do it. A barrier plus life. It gives a decent amount of life, too. Like, 100-something. Could, uh, make up for, like, half a skull. Um, we got... We do not have red next to blue, so instead I'm gonna look for Valkyrie. And, uh, we have brown right here. But you want to include these giant gems if you can. So we got green, which is better. So don't take the first thing you see. Make sure you keep looking. Um, we got skulls. So I'll probably take those. Bang. Because I don't want them hitting me with them. It's just another way to do damage, too. So, yeah. Uh, do we got red next to blue? A little bit. A little bit. I think I'm going to cast Henla first and see what happens. What shakes out on the board. Uh, we got skulls now. Oop, I gave them skulls, though. They knocked my barrier. It's okay. Look at all this red next to blue. That'll be great. I could take this for, like, guarantee. But I think I'm going to go with the uh, giant and see what happens. Nice. Got him. Better. That was better. All right. I have to take this extra. Well, I could do it again. Could do it again. There's not that much red. It's going to turn five red gems to blue giant gems. And there's only seven red gems, so the chance that it hits this one is pretty high. So let's do it. Bang! You see what I mean? I'm gonna take that into account. Alright, do we have any extra turns? If not, I'm taking skulls. Bang! Um, any extra turns? Always a thing to look at. No. So Hendla, because I don't have anything that's crazy good with the giant. So let's do Hendla on second slot, never first slot. Almost always second slot. Whatever's the current second slot is what you cast Hendla on. Um, so not a lot of red next to blue. I could go with Sky Mirror just to beef my team up. 
I could go with Valkyrie. And if I have alignment, I probably should just do it, just in, to make sure. Uh, so do we have it? Have it anywhere? Looking. I'm a-looking. Hmm. I don't really see it, so... Oh, yellow, right here. Yeah, I guess I'll do it. So that'll help you get more red next to blue. That'll help you get up a uh, handle, uh, etc. So since we have this red next to blue, I'm gonna do it. It's getting a little bit low up there. Might be time for a Sky Mirror pretty soon, but we'll see. Uh, let's go with Hindla for now. Kill that first slot. Bang. They're hitting my Hindla quite a bit, and I've noticed that. So I'm going to cast Sky Mirror on Hindla instead. You don't want to be losing your Hindla. Let's give her a barrier. I moved her to the front of the team. That kind of stinks, but I can always cast on the Giant and uh, get him back up there. Uh, now they're hitting Sky Mirror, but it's all right. This is the final battle. All right, maybe try for this. Ooh, missed it. Um, blue giant gems. And I'd love to get Sky Mirror up so I can move. Move that giant back up there. But he has no mana right now. So let's go with, uh, do we have red? Yeah, we got it right here. We got red next to blue. Let's go. First slot. Got it, kinda. I think we're frozen, maybe. No? I just missed. Um, Hendla. Most likely. Yes. On second slot. Alright, they, they hit my Hendla now. But we're so deep into this battle, it almost doesn't matter if we lose her. Alright, we gotta use, we gotta take the giant gems when we got them. Even though they kinda like, you can't control the board as much and they might hit you with skulls, but it's such good value. Alright, um, Hendla, cause no red next to blue. Second slot, bang, one more time of that and we'll be killing their first slot. I got purple into purple, that's great. Sky Mirror, now I can move my giant back if I want. Let's take the skulls first, get a kill. Ouch. Um, let's move my giant back. Hindla's in second slot. If Hindla gets hit with a random target, 25% chance she could die, but we got this pretty much one. Uh, let's see if we have Valkyrie anywhere. Blue, changing a color to blue. We got green right here. It's probably fine. And what now? We don't have red next to blue. Not enough to do it. I got the purple, though. Um, Got this yellow. Getting closer to a Sky Mirror, which I would then cast on most likely Hindla if I got it up. Should I get it up? I think we're close enough. Eh. One, two, three. Let's just get the purple. Playing defensively. Purple. All right, let's save Hindla's life. Ready? Ah, it's going to move her to first slot again. Poopy. Oh, well. I'm trying to get out of here with all my troops. I think that's pretty cool to get... You're playing the hardest epic trial battle, and you don't even lose a troop. Um, that shows that your strategy works, you know what I'm saying? Let's go with this. Let's uh, uh, go with... Uh, 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 uh. Hmm. I guess I'll just take that. Man, we got skulls up there. Boom. I think we might have this right now. Let's do this first. 108. Pretty close. 102. Extra turn. Bang! Didn't lose a single troop. Didn't even need my summon. And uh, just showing y'all that my strats work. So, that's what I would recommend. And I better get out of here because the self sabotage Taging needs to end. <clears throat> anyway, good luck with this if you still need to do it. That's my strategy. No campaign. Um, Underspire is going to be on the faction video, but we've already had Stormheim Underspire, so you should probably already know what to do there, too. Same with the faction. And then the faction comes through on Friday, too. A lot of repeat stuff this week. We'll call this week Pete and Repeat sitting on a log. Um, a lot of it's just repeat stuff this week. Uh... But yeah, I will have a video tomorrow just to help you out with the faction teams and the Underspire. I don't think we need a PvP video this week because a lot of them are the same or something you're using in a different event. Um, invasion video, I'll link at the end of this video. And yeah, I definitely owe some people some shoutouts, by the way. I will get those done. I'll probably start tomorrow in the faction video and work my way down. 
So if you if you if you think you deserve a shout out, you're probably getting it soon. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, hit like, like, share, subscribe. Consider joining helps a lot. Tell your get about channel comment below, and I'll see y'all tomorrow for that faction slash underspire video. Peace.